so very good morning to all today's we have a, a special kind of class in which we try to learn the comprehension on cognitive psychomotor and affective domain teaching and learning in ec as a student of electronics and communication engineering discipline what are these terminologies generally as a technical branch or student of technical field we are less familiar with this terminologies known as cognitive psychomotor and affective domain however as far as teaching as well as learning is concerned it's very very important we have to understand this then only we can ha have a holistic picture of overall education whatever we are learning whether it is skill competency theoretical understanding practical understanding or related with your emotional intelligence it comprises this means cognitive psychomotor and affective domain comprises everything all all those things so instead of looking different different terminologies as and when it comes uh it to your life let us try to understand it here in a in a very integrative manner and as a as a here formal lecture so that you can rethink you can uh, relearn and you should know how to learn learning how to learn that's that things are also very important although these are the part of teachers training is basically it is taught to teachers without taking into account the learners so which which becomes not an efficient way unless learner are also aware about these things they cannot utilize they cannot efficiently utilize those those aspects okay because if learner is not aware about this cognitive psychomotor and affective domain of learning that there shall be a gap between the expectations and the meetings means what teacher expect from the learner and what learner is able to retrieve or able to tell or whenever assessment is going on at what extent learner is able to tell so so because of this gap of not uh, uh, gap between expectation and meeting this kind of problems occurs so from that point of view this lecture is very important today i have two goals one is this uh, familiarization with this cognitive psychomotor and affective domain of learning for you people and second one is that in the lics course as i told you in the beginning that about 20 marks i have have assigned as a project work and to complete that project work certain circuit you have to design using op open softwares open software may be easy using uh, sky word 30 pdk magic and what are what are more software more so combining all those things you have to design a circuit of your own choice this will give you an opportunity to explore your thinking to work in the way the way you wish instead of a task given from my side task is of course given in a broader way however specific is depending on your own choice so if you recall in the beginning of our classes i told you that the one aspect of assessment will be that that is the 20 marks you can assume that this is assignment or whatever but assignment is a kind of you know little bit challenging yourself it's not just more to the task and it is not uh, it is not also that one person is doing the same is also doing no it is not like that a individual has to put some effort to learn 
based on his or her own interest based on his or her own capability but what has to give the try i'm not telling that everyone shall able to beat 100% maybe 40 another maybe 30 another maybe 60 another maybe 80 90 no problem that is what is quite normal this is what i want to see that that uh, normal see the box distribution not like that everybody is getting 20 out of 20 or everybody is getting below average no it should not be like that there should be certain students of that, that this is what is a normal curve certain students are really brilliant who can get you know 20 out of 20 or 90 few students shall definitely will be there who will get the least marks or mid above passing marks but majority will be like with the average if that picture is coming from your class assessment that is the normal see however we have seen many times a distorted distorted way of evaluation so that evaluation this distorted way reflects not only our part this how we have taken your evaluation but on the other hand your part also how you are reflecting your learnings or how you are reflecting your competencies or how you are reflecting what you could learn so there is gap that gap should not be there though we are learning here in online mode but still uh, there should be some mechanism to reflect your 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 real learning not just means you can take the help but again whatever desired competency whatever desired uh skill there you should acquire you should acquire okay so so that is why whatever we are going to cover it first part as in this lecture second part you have to apply those things from your own thing okay so is it okay you, you could hear what 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 did i say anyone can yes sir Okay, voice is clear and loud enough, or I should increase or something like that. No, it's clear. Clear. Thank you. So, first slide, if you see, that is comprehension. Comprehension is a word which you have heard first time. I think whenever you are dealing with English literature, some seen or unseen passages. is given in your class 10th or 12th in english course and based on that it is expected that after reading you should able to give the some answer and that sometimes becomes very very difficult because it doesn't give a scope for copying or something like that okay it really become diff difficult but how this become very easy to the learner who really uh, who really apply their mind to understand those who depends on some some ready made answer for them it is really really challenging this comprehension comprehension means understanding basically but in english literature wherever we have come across first time i am just citing that one so that you should know you you should be able to relate whatever you know and whatever we are not doing just to link those things so comprehension this same some unseen passages is there you have to read thoroughly and it is suggested read two three times and then some of the question uh, is being asked some, sometimes answer are given in uh, indirect way second maybe it is also asked to give a suitable title of entire passages or some or, or, or what word so many times you must have seen that certain words you may not be aware so so these are the process course of that so here i am just trying to tell that meaning comprehension is a complete understanding how you are able to comprehend but this comprehend comprehension now not cognitive what it is cognitive cognitive is relate uh, cognitive is related with your mental ability a mental exercise so here how it is related means where it is used it is used in our theoretical courses just hold on
so whatever theory paper you used to study in that most of the time we use cognitive uh, domain of our our mental strength so like uh, recalling something doing the derivation you can in, in, in a layman you can say the work which you used to do with the help of pen pencil theoretical work okay but this theoretical work it has it has a uh, lot of importance because first we begin from this cognitive level only understanding starts from here another one is the psychomotor psychomotor is related with your coordination between mind and the body how you are able to do something physically like uh, a, a, a small child start you know standing walking running so there a learner is using his psychomotor domain of of uh, faculty in our course where this is used it is mostly used in laboratory classes how suppose you have been asked design a uh, design a half wave rectifier in a laboratory and, and just that much has been asked so what is expected thing in a laboratory everything is there nothing you have been uh, instructed only the task is design a half wave rectifier so what you will do you will identify where, where, where is oscilloscope you will identify the bring at particular place then you will search where is the diode, P injection diode. You will pick up, put it certain away and try to read what its value, or what its voltage uh, voltage reading. You will take, you will find some connecting wires, breadboard, and you first draw some circuit on paper pen. Then try to implement that circuit on your breadboard, and after that you will. You have to decide where is the input, where is the output, and then try to get the this. What we are doing? We are doing basically psychomotor exercise. Psychomotor exercise. Suppose uh, now, suppose a student is very, very efficient in calculation. All kind of calculation one can do, half way rectifier, full river rectifier, bridge rectifier, uh, and mathematical formula, everything what can what can be. Uh, you know, get get uh, knowledge, but when there will be a situation what same same student is asked, okay, can you perform the experiment? May not be necessary. What is efficient? So this is where many times you must have heard that, okay, they don't have you know practical knowledge. They don't have ground reality. Mostly for university teacher, it is told that okay, they are only you know, uh, bookworms, they, they don't have understanding of ground reality. So such, such kind of thing. Okay, coming again to our electronics, I have given example. So if you are able to recognize your CRO, you are able to handle the different nodes, different settings, that comes into your psychomotor domain. And that is very, very essential. You may, uh, you may be now feeling and you may be missing those laboratory classes what a time what or two times i have heard from you people because that is a very important that that you you know uh, a real pleasure of having knowledge because it gives an opportunity to realize practically to see what you have done at, uh, at its output so you can play with that because play away method is also a very good way of learning. So psychomotor is related with that. Now, third domain, which is affective domain. Although we do not talk much about this, but here, affective domain is really very, very important. Now, I give you an example. Nowadays, we are taking online classes. And in online classes, the most missing thing is this affective domain. 
Affective domain is related with your emotional intelligence. Uh, the way you behave, the way you respond. Okay. So, if affective domain is not proper, is not in a place, then your psychomotor and cognitive domain will also not be functional. I will give example. Suppose Vicky and Divyashu are are in the hostel and they were having fight in early morning at the time of breakfast. And after that, they came into the class. So what will happen? In their mind, all these fights were going on, you know, even after coming in the class. And whatever a teacher is teaching, it will not go into, into their mind. So what is, what is that? It means your affective domain is playing so strongly. Okay, your mind is too occupied. This is one extreme example I give. Another example is that daydreaming. You might have heard this daydreaming. Student is there in the class, but his mind is somewhere else, thinking somewhere else. And that we have also observed here, whenever we used to teach and expecting something answer and then telling by them also. First of really one come forward by themselves. That is also psychomotor domain reflection to give the answer. Okay, if I tell by them, then what happened? We have observed that student will ask again, sir, what is going, what is the exact answer? What is the exact question basically? What you are trying to ask from me? What, what it means? It means before that, the student was in another domain, another world, was not at all the track. However, when student is compelled, no, you, you have to now respond because you are in the class. So, so that kind of question comes. It shows that, it shows that affective domain is very, very weak. So that is why uh, I, I told that affective domain uh, play a great role. Here also suppose class is going on and if some student is doing something just on the mobile or laptop and doing other job. Okay, because everyone's microphone is mute, camera is off. I do not know what is going on. Okay. So that, that, that is where your affective domain plays a very, very good role. Affective domain also tell, tells that how much responsive you are, how much readiness is there to do, to do work, how much acceptance is there, how, how much you are able to feel something is produced around you, how much gives some values that things come under affective domain and it's very, very important part of our learning, which generally we do not cover, neither taught or neither, yeah, neither we learn, nor, nor we learn. So what happened? This, this domains of learning, uh, this domain developed through our own culture, through our own, uh, you know, uh, surroundings through our own environments whatever it is giving you thought same same kind of things we develop affective domains also play a very role whenever we grow further whenever you have to handle many people at that time many times your psychomotor and cognitive domain doesn't work first it comes affective domain suppose i'm teaching and we, you, you are not connecting Conducting with affective domain, it, then you will not bother to attend the class. This is the first thing. This, when the class is going on, it is 9 30, 10 30, or whatever, will not bother because our that faculty, psychomotor domain, sorry, affective domain faculty is very weak. Or it may be from both sides, it may be from your, your side and my side, and both sides also, combined. So sometimes whatever activity we do, it is a it is a combination of both. It is a combination of both. So that is why affective domain also has very important. So so now I think I am able to make you understand the meaning of these three words. That is called cognitive, psychomotor, and affective. Anyone wants to say comments or ask anything? Plus.
have you heard these things before these three term terminologies cognitive psychomotor and affective domain in context of our say engineering yes sir you have heard this is the uh, answer is that answer is it that response drani yes i have heard this term okay very good what about other so this is one student what about others you can use chat box because answer can be given simultaneously that is good way of uh, good way of you know uh, handling the class everyone out of 30 32 say 32 students are here 32 students can respond here anyway let us move further till you write here so now what is overall goal although this ppt was prepared uh, to give an invited talk i have not changed at yet because i do not feel that goal still changes whenever i am um, disseminating this information among you so the goal is to generate inquiry which is very very important if unless you have inquiry mind it will be very difficult to be, make you a good learner there should be inquiry there should be some question into your mind so but here from my side i am trying to generate that inquiry and stimulate your thinking ability to be a better educator sometimes you have there may be an opportunity to teach your younger siblings so there you 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 are educator so how to be a good educator or better educator that at that means also it will help you a learner for example here probably you are a learner then third is the paper setter you know once we become a good paper setter and then a learner is appearing in the exam what can what can attempt in a better way so suppose a task is given to set a question paper how can you go about it? okay that is also very very important learning not only you should be always other side of the table think yourself from this type this side of the table and then you you set a question paper to assess the understanding to assess the uh, you know outcomes of your 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 teaching so there also it helps examiner not only paper setter once you paper setter now answer script has come suppose a paper setter is different place you have you, you have you got some question paper now you have to evaluate how to evaluate there also it will help exam d project principal investigator where people used to run some research level project there also so this ppt has you know broader application and second to energize and reinforce your hidden ability and strength and overall to refresh you all so today class i thought so that whatever you are going to learn or you you are keep learning how to further reinforce it how to further you know motivate yourself and how to readjust or reset your better goal or higher goal whatever you have set earlier now coming this objectives because with limited time we cannot achieve everything so that is why we have to set the some object objectives so what are those objectives of this small presentation that is to explain three domains of learning as per benjamin bloom's educational objectives actually this is He, this is the picture of professor benjamin who has extensively contributed in the field of education and the classification 
which he has suggested is applicable in every field, whether it is engineering, medical, or, or arts, commerce. It is another factor that engineering disciplined people have have you know uh, taken cognizance very late. Since this fellow belongs to you know education department or education. So thinking that this is applicable to you know hard science cover section, not for GT. But nowadays they 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 are they they are adopting it. And I, I, I would like to apprise you that our department is also going to apply for MBA accreditation, National Board of Accreditation. Here you will find as per Bloom taxonomy, your course curriculum should be designed. There should be a course objectives. There should be course goal objectives. Students should know after learning what skill he will or she will acquire. That one should know. Now you must have seen uh, in the beginning of the book or chap uh, a, a chapter in the book, it is mentioned after reading, after going through this chapter students should be able to do number one task number two task number three task what are those how this have been very uh, specified uh, determined because of the change in the outlook of our educational system this was very much earlier there but in other other discipline not in engineering discipline but now engineering discipline is also trying to adopt I, I would like, to, of course, matter has come, so I would tell here. When I was had in, in 2013 to 2016 duration, and I was revising the MTech and PhD syllabus. So there, I introduced the concept of writing, aim, and objectives of each courses. Whatever courses are there, it should be specified students should know after after pursuing that course what kind of skill competency what is able to do that should be mentioned in the course itself about the course and you will find if you download that take a phd course it is mentioned however unfortunately unfortunately it could not materialize in btech curriculum we should be because we take what was uh, done later on what i have tried to tell that as there is a develop in the development in the learning process technology process we have to adopt it early adopt better you are in a position to keep pace but what happened still in the present day, but now while changing this our BTEC syllabus also, we have to write those things because MBA has suggested now. So MBA has suggested to, to, to write here uh, COPO matrix. Is uh, what is that COPO? Yeah, every course should have uh, course curriculum output or something like that which which is nothing but assessing the abilities okay uh, let me go further anything has come okay okay in chat box i was looking anyway so soon this will be implemented in bt curriculum also i am i'm sure now so Second is to apply Bloom taxonomy for writing different level of objectives in cognitive domain of learning. Since most of the time we deal with this cognitive means, if you see your BTEC curriculum also, uh, if in a one semester, if four theory courses are there, so one or two are labored courses. So what, what does it mean? It means that mostly we deal with this cognitive domain. Even now also, uh, in pandemic time, whenever only online classes are going on, so mostly you are assessed on the cognitive domain only, not on psychomotor. 
okay so that is why in the limited time this second level of objective was set and third one is this to identify only identify affective and psychomotor domain of learning so three objectives explaining three three broad domain what are those broad domain that is the cognitive psychomotor and affective and apply this is in detail apply those cognitive domain of learning to set objectives and identify this affective and psychomotor domain so now coming to this slide three domains of learning so bloom and his associate see in 1956 long long back this is not a new concept but it becomes new because we have not adopted till this now we are slowly slowly adopting but still yet it has not yet materialized as far as our department is concerned okay so once it is materialized then it, it we have to see at what extent we are able to implement and how, how much what is able to absorb those things. Now let us see. A system of classification learning into three broad domain or cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. So cognitive, as you see, indicated by this brain-related activities, affective, heart-related, and psychomotor doing some task with hands. So this is a symbolic representation of three domains, cognitive, affective, psychomotor. Okay. So as a learner, we, we should have, we should have all three, but depending on one's ability, the quantity may differ. Suppose, suppose I'm a teacher, I may have more portion of this and balancing this. Okay. Suppose uh, there is a sports person. Sports person will have this much highest than this and then lesser, lesser this. Suppose there is a politician. Politician will use this one mostly, effective to it. And then lesser this. If you ask even yesterday I was, <laughs> what? <laughs> sorry, this is being recorded, but still I can cite. Uh, one state uh, education minister, a, a a journalist was asking, please tell that table of 13. Are you getting? Please tell that table of 13. Was asked, uh, a journalist is asking the, this question to a education minister of some state, but not able to do. So what, what I'm trying to do, it does not mean that education minister has failed in his task. Why I'm telling? Because the question belongs to that, of course, very low level question, but that question belongs to cognitive domain. However, the education minister presently dealing with mostly with affective domain. He is, you know, he is talking with people, he is showing his leadership. So that is why he was not able to give the answer. Okay. So anyway, the, the, it means uh, it uh, some, sometimes you may you may observe that a, a person who is very much higher at that level, so do not expect much about this domain or this domain. If somebody is here at high levels, for, for example, Sachin Tendulkar, don't expect his, his competency too much high in this domain or in this domain. Okay, so it's it's like that. So, however, as a, as a, as a learner, usually you see in your curriculum, basically all these three things uh, are a component a component of your curriculum, particularly engineering these two disciplines, and in affective domains, uh, I, uh, what I should say, there should be some component where you should be familiar with this, with these things. So maybe English literature, uh, or uh, one more course is there, I think IPR, or, or some humanity related art courses may deal with this kind of affective domain. No, dear, not exactly. Now coming to this first level, first domain, that is called cognitive domain. Anything, any question? You people are enjoying or feeling more, or uh, it, uh, we are off track. What, what are you? What do you want to say? Plus, interesting. Is, sir. Uh, it's interesting. 
Very good. Thank you, Dadi. Anyone else? How, how, how can I make it more interesting? There, there is any, any suggestion, Dadi? Not at the. I like the case which is going like this. Could not hear you properly. It's all right. I like the case at which is going right now. I don't have any suggestions. No suggestion. Anyone else? Anyone else in class? Class is attentive or not? Huh? Good. Let, let us move further and we will see because <clears throat> so you know bloom has given this classification uh, to assess uh, to determine this cognitive domain of learning he has given he has classified or basically suggested that it has basically six levels one two three four five six what are those six levels First level is this knowledge. Second one is, can you read anyone? Please read. I, I need your, your participation. Rahul is there? Or I have to call. Mansi. Mansi, can you read what it is? This is first level. Second level is? Mansi Das, can you hear me? Nisha Ramcheri, Vicky Prasad. Wow, what a class we have! Is that it? Vicky Prasad, Bhargavi, Raj Lakshmi, Manaswani. Yes, sir. Manaswani, you can hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, can you read what is this word is written? Yes, sir. Please read. Uh, comprehension. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait. Sir. I am asking anyone else, okay, because I need attention of everyone. So first one is a knowledge, second one is a comprehension, and third one, somebody else should tell. What is this third level? Application. Uh, yes. And fourth level? Uh, analysis. Fifth level? Synthesis. And sixth level? Evaluation. Evaluation. Very good. So first is this knowledge. Com second comprehension, third is application, analysis, synthesis, evaluation. In recent days, actually, they have uh, combined these two synthesis and evaluation, and uh, and given these keywords as a name of creation. Okay, creation is creating something. So that that has been a little bit updated if you if you search in google so and these are in ascending order please mind it these are in ascending order what are those please try to you know try to little bit grasp it what are these levels so these levels are first you try to you know uh, kind of memorize so first is this knowledge second is comprehension third one is application fourth one is analysis Synthesis evaluation. Okay. These are the sixth level. So yeah. these three levels, first three levels, no less comprehension and application. These three levels of cognitive domain are called low level of learning stages. However, these are these three are at high level of learning. Okay, analysis, synthesis, evaluation, or say creation. 
okay so let us begin you you will appreciate more thing and what are these words which has been written here these are basically verbs action verb useful for stating learning outcomes that is say at at knowledge level a knowledge level anyone can read this what is written it define re repeat record list recall name relate underline very good thank you so this these are the keywords which is which are used to determine whether a learner has a knowledge of something okay so these are the action keyword second one is the comprehension next student can can read this what is this word translate uh, restate discuss describe recognize explain express identify locate report review tell very good thank you so much so these are the keywords to assess comprehension level that is what more what more higher level of learning stays now third student what is this word this is the level 3 application what is this word please come forward to read this word interpret apply employ use demonstrate dramatize practice illustrate operate schedule shop sketch very good thank you so much next student distinguish analyze differentiate oh. appraise calculate experiment test compare contrast criticize diagram inspect debate inventory question relate solve examine categorize thank you next compose plan purpose design formulate arrange assemble collect construct create set up organize manage prepare thank you next under the category of evaluation what are the keywords action keywords judge appraise evaluate rate compare value revise score select choose assess and estimate measure very good thank you so much for taking part into dd actually these are the keywords you see this one word is there which most of the time we use while writing this study study as a keyword have you ever seen here study is not a keyword not a defined keyword to either ask or to do some task sometimes we are i i will study this portion do no, that is not a proper word okay so i hope you will keep it to mind that avoid to using this word study okay because study is not a proper or or identified action verb if you say i am studying it, it is not uh, it, it is not saying anything as such because it is not specific not measurable not achievable okay so this is what i want to draw your attention and that is why every keywords i told you to read it okay now let us go to first stage the first stage is this who read this word these keywords first stage <laughs> कौन पढ़ा था क्लास में से हु रेड द की वर्ड रिलेटेड विथ नॉलेज इंद्रानी ओके थैंक यू इंद्रानी ओके ओके थैंक यू सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट लेवल व्हाट इज दिस नॉलेज ओके नॉलेज in terms of you know cognitive is the first level fundamental sometimes we used to tell oh i have this knowledge that knowledge yes you have a knowledge but 
this is the first level that is bit of a first level of understanding so what is this knowledge knowledge is just nothing but only to recall of specific and universal facts recall of like methods and process or recall of a pattern structure or setting specific stands for different things like terminologies and specific facts i will elaborate with example like here action verbs are defined state list name outline write recall recognize label underline select describe if i tell state four levels of opam blocks so you are just only stating this just telling the name this or i should i should write i should ask in a better way name the four blocks in the operation amplifier it means i am assessing, assessing the first knowledge or you are trying to tell i have acquired first level of cognitive domain let me just make it be smaller can you see now full slide see examples of evaluating first level of cognitive learning that is the knowledge for example define ohm's law if a learner is able to define ohm's law correctly it means a learner has ability of this knowledge not necessarily please understand not necessarily one is able to redefine in another term if the learner is able to redefine in another words his or her own wordings that is ohm's law or try to demonstrate or try to apply then only what is able to demonstrate higher level of learning if a learner is able to just only you know after bugging up able to tell or write so that is it means only first level of uh, cognitive domain of learning that is the knowledge so how are sometimes we used to ask in question define this or state like pythagoras theorems just only statement is asked that is very very normal keywords which you have come across but accordingly marks assignment is also very less why because we are assessing only fundamental or first level of learning which require not much effort third is the list three newton's law of motion or outline three advantages of optical fiber communication or rf communication or if i will say oh sorry if i will ask uh, write or uh, or list five ideal characteristics of operation amplifier list five ideal characteristics of operation amplifier that we have discussed last time or list three ideal characteristics i have to specify how many ideal characteristics i am trying to get if i ask list ideal characteristics characteristics of operation amplifier that is also not a proper question proper question should be number you have to specify list four ideal characteristics of operation amplifier in this way it is a better question compared to just list because uh, if i ask list ideal characteristics of operation amplifier suppose idrani is able to write eight ideal characteristics disha is able to write only four sanjana is able to write three ideal characteristics madhusi is able to write ten ideal characteristics so so students are taking this question or able to write the answer in their own on uh, on level of understanding but this is a question of giving the marks so it should be uniform so that is why there is a, there is a need to 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 mention how many ideal characteristics are expected against which marks is assigned got it understood or not the importance of this specify with example in your operation amplifier 
So, outline three advantages. Recall or recognize the given picture. Can you identify whose picture is this? Or just recall? Bolo bhai. Anyone? This is the question. And it is based on your recall. First level. And I have given this as a GK. Anyone? No, Bhargavi. Oh, oh. Medal liya hai aat mein. <laughs> Sorry, next. Bhargavi is telling that Kalpana Chawla. No. Anyone else? Fata fat. Go fast. Not able? No, you pick this. Uh, Sorry, I should not tell anything. Uh, anyway, this is Sakshi Malik wrestler who won the bronze medal in wrestling competition in the Olympic, last Olympic. So this is what I'm trying to assess here. I'm trying to assess your knowledge, first level up. What type of this relate or match? In column A, some quantity is given. Column B, some quantity is given. You have to relate or match you must have seen this kind of questions is to ask now so this kind of question if it is asked don't be afraid or don't be overestimate that we are asking very high level of question or we are say you you have been asked very difficult question no it is first level similarly a diagram is given suppose operation amplifier is given this 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 i asked label it is it okay to ask such kind of question a triangle is given and you have to label it. Pin number, this uh, output, pin number six, you have to write output. Input, inverting turbulent, non inverting turbulent, then output, and this VCC minus V, and then pin number five, and pin number seven, you have to write offset voltage. Is it okay to, to, to grasp or to correlate, to assess the understanding level related with your, say, LICS? Yes, sir, no, Kusto Bolo, Bayo, Pedro. चलो अभी आगे आएंगे आपके पास फिर से सो दिस इज हाउ वी एसेस फर्स्ट लेवल वंस वी गॉट द फर्स्ट लेवल नेक्स्ट लेवल इज कॉम्प्रिहेंशन दिस कॉम्प्रिहेंशन लेवल इज द हायर लेवल प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड टू हैव अ कॉम्प्रिहेंशन वन शुड हैव फर्स्ट नॉलेज ऑफ दैट देन ओनली वन कैन कॉम्प्रिहेंड ओके सो दीस आर द कीवर्ड्स यूज्ड टू Explain your comprehension. That is the translate, restate, discuss, describe, explain, express, etc. etc. Let us see examples. Understanding by definition here. Demonstrative understanding of facts and ideas by organizing, comparing, translating, interpreting, giving description and stating main ideas. Central theme like translation, using other words to communicate something said are printed without altering the meaning. Suppose you read a newspaper, and now your mama is asking, what is basic news? So what you will tell? You are not going to read line by line and telling to your mommy this is the news. No. Once you read, you will explain those things into your own words without altering the meaning. However, there is a probability of altering. That is a wrong thing. We should not alter. We should not put some masala. Okay. You should be able to tell correct way. You should be able to translate into your own wordings. So that, but how can you do? You can do these things if you have a comprehension, if you have an understanding. And this, these are the ability, demonstrative understanding of facts and ideas. The translation, the next is the interpretation. Ability of a learner to explain the meaning of an informative without altering the meaning. You, you may have observed that many times, even today also, I used to emphasize on meaning. Whatever a word is coming first time, we should, we should try to comprehend it. So that, so that new information could find a place into our brain. Unless we understand, it is not, that information is not going to uh, stay into your uh, longer memory. It will be only for for short memory. 
that too if you are really hearing properly if you are daydreaming <laughs> not attentive then forget about that one so that interpretation your knowledge will not be there okay so this is here first is the translation you should able to translate the things suppose i am speaking here in english if you are able to translate it to your bagla asmi or khasi how can you do yes you can do if you have a understanding if you could understand what i am trying to tell that you can pass out this information to other and that is possible if you have a comprehension okay recall will be there unless you recall you cannot but beside recall you you will have a another skill that is the comprehension and many times we have seen that we are not able to retrieve those things so retrieving is another way of assessing and third one is this extrapolation extrapolation means suppose a trend is given of curve i am telling curve is like this up to 2020 uh our coronavirus is going on like that that 2025 how much <laughs> if we are able to tell that trend is like this then it will go is you should able to extrapolate certain things this intuitively or whatever so that is also coming you know based on your estimation okay or it may be this extrapolation may be if suppose trend is like this after that you should able to predict correctly so that is extra quality action verbs are identify justify select indicate illustrate represent formulate explain comprehend these are the action verbs used to ask the question to assess the understanding level anything here you wish to do or can you write a question based on your own can you write in chat box please write a question using these keywords okay all of you so that i need a guess bit of the people use your mind to write a question to assess say knowledge level and comprehension level whatever question you will have to your mind okay i have given example like uh, state newton's first law okay or what are the three pins of transistor name the transistor uh, name the three pins of transistor so a meter base collector so this this kind of information if you are able to tell it means you have a knowledge first level can you do this exercise no write in chat box na kya karte hai aap log padhne ke liye aaye ho na padho bhai थोड़ा एक्टिव पार्टिसिपेशन रखो ओके सो नाउ कमिंग ऑन दिस की वर्ड ओके लेट अस द एग्जांपल लेट अस सी द एग्जांपल्स एग्जांपल्स ऑफ इवैल्यूएटिंग सेकंड लेवल ऑफ कॉग्निटिव लर्निंग दैट इज द कॉम्प्रिहेंशन लाइक हियर या क्वेश्चन इज गिवन आइडेंटिफाई ओड वन आउट यू मस्ट हैव सीन दिस इन योर लॉजिकल क्वेश्चंस or say competitive exam so here pnp and pn pm mosfet so you have to identify odd one out so that that question belongs to comprehension level next is the justify the size of collector is kept largest compared to emitter and base suppose question is asked justify that that the size of collector you see here this is a, a transistor emitter is collector uh, this is the reason here this reason uh, this is the base reason and this is the collector reason so if you go by size wise you see size of this collector is largest so if question is that justify why it means why the size of collector reason is kept largest see here we did not ask the word why we use word justify so that is why why who where this kind of word is not not there in your this word okay so although we are so habitual of asking such kind of question yeah didrani wrote down <laughs> why are nor and dad referred as universal gates yes see you have used why word so thank you for using this why word because you have given me opportunity to 
to target this word see why word is not a keyword action keyword to ask the question okay so why who and what how these are a not proper word okay unfortunately although we are so habitual that we, we ask like that question which is which is not a proper to assess was understanding was knowledge okay everybody you got it so there are a better way there are a better way a better way of asking the question because these words you know sometimes is a offensive word you know why are you doing like this why you have come this you can you can ask uh, you can ask in another way isn't it can you explain of coming late isn't it this is that other way of asking the same thing can you explain why are you coming late in class or why are you coming uh, why are you coming uh, late in class that is a, that is offensive question okay how if i i say uh, explain of coming late in class that is more refined way not even can you is that it explain of coming late in class so explain is a keyword okay it has same thing here you try to really give the answer rather than feeling offensive is that it so so this is what is what is purpose of your education purpose of education to to build the human character to get the output from you not to suppress is that it not to suppress whatever you know even um, lesser uh, if, if you are uh, if you feel offensive that we are not able to give the correct answer you may give it the wrong answer uh, sometimes <laughs> why are you coming late you may give something rude answer okay which may annoy the annoy the person who is asking okay so th these things are very much please i do not want to hear because it is in recording so i do not want to give the answer which may be rude way okay thank you for uh, writing the question and i would request others should also participate now huh? why are others are so passive tashfin is writing can a circuit using dad gate be implemented completely by using door gate Uh, you can improve improve it. Yeah, differentiate between inverting and non-inverting copper. Yeah, very good question. Okay, so the Tanu Tanu has written better better question. Okay, Tashfin, you can improve. There is a probability of improving the question because what is our purpose? Whenever we ask the question, our purpose is to get maximum answer from the learner. Isn't it? And And if that purpose is we are able to solve, that only we can give more marks also. Done, is that it? Okay. Whether it is even the interview also, particularly it plays very big role in interview. Yeah, very good. Explain the four stages in an open. Very good. So now we are we were comprehension. Yeah, example I was giving. Okay. draw and explain the block diagram of ofc like optical fiber communication actually i uh, my discipline is that one that is why i used to ask but unfortunately i am not getting chance to teach this course i love to teach this course rather you know anyway so block diagram of this now next is the formulate maxwell equation for conducting a non conducting medium this is a comprehension level see if i ask just right maxwell equation so based on your recall you can write this four maxwell equation no problem but this is not a question of knowledge level question is for formulate this maxwell equation for conducting and non conducting medium because for conducting medium and non conducting medium although these equations are del dot d del dot b uh, del cross e del cross h left hand side are same but right hand side differs based on conducting medium or not conducting medium and that is where you should have understanding if a learner has understanding a student has understanding there only one can write these two equations based on his or her understanding okay 
So like the present equation is for conducting. For non-conducting or insulating medium, this rho will become zero because charge-free medium is there is no charge in the non-conducting or insulating medium, and there is no current also. This J, there is no current in the conduct, uh, non-conducting medium, so this becomes also G, zero. So this is how one can. But the biggest problem is that Lotto is not able to you would recall this four maxwell equation this is our experience i am telling now here this shapes uh, sorry here uh, i have given four shapes just to identify okay i can make it bigger okay do this exercise you know these kind of question are asked in in very primary school also nowadays you see uh, can you identify odd one out here? Which one? What? Suppose I write here one, two, three, four. Which one is the odd one out? Just tell, fata but don't take much time. Plus. Last one, the fourth one is the odd one out. Yeah, very good. In this? Second one. Second one. In this? Third. In this? Fourth. In this? Second. Which one? Second chair. Second, how comes? Huh, tell now what word at least. So this is the comprehension okay so assessing the comprehension level here the non things are given uh, for your level i can draw the diagrams of your operational amplifiers in different different forms and then try to ask which one is odd one out isn't it question is same only context will change okay so be ready such kind of uh, this, <laughs> this kind of question if, if possible okay and this is what is sometimes asked in your gate exam or any other exam okay they try to assess your comprehension level okay can we move further now third level application so application ability to use learn learned material such as rules, principle, concept, etc., to new and real situation. Like predict, select, assess, explain, choose, find, show, demonstrate. In the examples you give, let us see first example, then I will go on some non-retained example. See, example is here. Like apply Maxwell equations to derive propagating wave equation in a dialectic medium okay so you should know this four maxwell equation derive this uh, apply this equation to find out final wave equation for dialectic medium or find propagating wave equation in a dialectic medium by uh there may be mistake Dialectic medium by applying Maxwell equations. Okay, so apply is the keyword, find is a keyword. So here, what what are you trying to do? Here, you should have knowledge. You should have a knowledge of four Maxwell equation. You should have a comprehension of Maxwell equation. Now, after having knowledge of Maxwell equation and comprehension, you are applying it in real situations. Suppose I ask, uh, apply Maxwell equation, derive the wave, wave equation for a rectangular waveguide. It means you are applying in a given, you are applying Maxwell equation in a given situation to find out the modes. Is that it? So if you are able to do, or we are able to teach you, what are we doing? We are applying. We are at third level of knowledge. Okay. You must have read trigonometry. Now, using trigonometry, if you are able to assess the height, you are able to measure the height of a tree. That is your application. This question is very much in place. 
but see in 10th class 11th class or 12th class you must have read trigonometry isn't it this this so if you know this what is called base or some angle then you can determine the height so even without climbing on the tree you can find out the height of the tree so that is what that is the application see we have not gone to sun but from here sitting on the earth we have measured the distance between earth and sun what is this this is the application of your trigonometry geometry is that it how you have measured the mass of the earth now everyone does that much kilogram is the mass of the earth that much is the radius of the earth how can we measure is there any weighing machine on this we have put earth and then measure the weight of the earth how could we do those things we we have applied some formulas of mathematics so this is the example of application and last one is the demonstrate total internal reflection so on paper and pen if you are able to tell okay uh, if uh, if a, a light travels from denser to rarer medium the refracted light is away from the normal and if incident light angle is greater than the critical angle then total internal reflection occurs with refracted light get back into the same medium and this is what is total ref reflection and if you are able to solve out paper or pen okay that is okay that is your comprehension knowledge and comprehension but if you are able to demonstrate it to the children or to the examiner how this phenomena can take place in real life it means you are able to develop application level of knowledge, application level of uh, this uh, skill are you getting what i am trying to tell so similarly here if i asked okay using operation amplifier please design a integrator which integrates this value some some value some variable given okay or uh, some side side waves equation is given design a circuit to integrate this side wave signal and find out the outputs so if you are able to apply your this knowledge and able to demonstrate it maybe theoretically still we are talking about our theoretically on paper and pen we are able to de determine what should be the value of capacitor what is the value of resistor what voltage you should apply so if you are able to determine all those things and draw correctly it means you, you are applying your knowledge knowledge comprehension and then apply with here application it means we are assessing or you have reached your uh, this uh, skill up to the application level got it understood it or not give response students yes, okay. participants ki sankhya kam ho rahi hai kyun bhai so these three doorways what are th three doorways this no uh, knowledge comprehension and application these are the you know lower level of knowledge which we expect from every student uh, at least that much one should able to achieve minimum these three are high level of thinking critical it requires critical thinking it require high level of higher order of thinking creativity okay and some more mental exercise what are those analysis synthesis and evaluation and then accordingly you are rewarded is that it accordingly you may be rewarded if you could acquire analysis level of cognitive domain of learning synthesis is higher evaluation or creation then you you deserve to be awarded with higher higher grades higher you know whatever you can you can say any question explain the four stages okay that is the question understood carvi thank you okay
So moving to next analysis. Do you need break or what? You need break? Class below. Because three levels we have covered and I, I try to cover it very slowly, slowly so that one should enjoy also because purpose was to refresh, uh, to, to generate inquiry. So five minute break will be okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, After sir. We get five. Uh, after five minutes, we twelve. It is seven minutes. It becomes so twelve o'clock. Okay. But don't go away. Huh? I will stop recording.